Welcome to OTL Animal News. Your best source for animal related news from around the world. My name is Jason Kenzie. And I'm Isaac Knox. On this episode, we're going to be talking about Smarter Monkeys, an Arctic fox that walks halfway around the world. And a man killing beaver. Our first story takes us uh, somewhere in the North Pole where a fox has been uh, tagged with a tracker and it has been traveling through uh, many different countries and two continents. What is so cool is this fox not only traveled over land, sea, it must have took a ride on a couple whales along the way, jumping on the back of some turtles. So what is so cool is this fox traveled for thousands of kilometers how many kilometers do you think it traveled? Thousands. Across the Arctic Circle, pretty much, it was attached with a beacon that showed scientists exactly where it travels. And looking at the story here, they actually have little time-lapse maps of where the fox went, and it's pretty interesting to watch. It was picked up by a couple birds along the way. That's why it traveled that fast. I believe that, you know, you ever hear the word, you know, clever as a fox? Well, this thing built a hot air balloon out of snow and ice, and it was able to be carried along the wind. Those foxes are very smart. Of course, it probably won't be long until traffickers figure out that animals have good uh, traveling means, and before they start, uh, load them up with narcotics to sneak them across borders. The fox has traveled for 76 days, after which the little transmitter stopped working, possibly due to uh, maybe weather damage or simply the batteries have died. It's a great story mm -hmm. of survival. It, it, could have, it could have taken off its collar and just sold it on the black market for a piece of tuna. For our next story, we go to China. What have they done to these monkeys? Scientists have implanted these monkeys with the MCPH1 human gene uh, to stimulate their brain growth, uh, supposedly to make these monkeys smarter than the average monkey. I will translate this in English for you. Scientists in China are creating real life Jurassic Park. Scientists in China are creating real life Planet of the Apes. From my perspective, I think you know, just because these monkeys get this one gene doesn't particularly mean that they will get a lot smarter or human level of intelligence just because they share the same gene for brain growth. Well, I do know that with this new gene, they will be able to have perfect aim with their shit. Right now, they're just off just a little bit. They have tested these monkeys against uh, wild monkeys. Their cognitive abilities are far superior. The wild monkeys couldn't count at all. These monkeys can count it too. There's going to be a new monkey business in China, and it says here they're going to replace all the sweatshops with monkey shops. Because monkeys sweat less. It won't be long before these monkeys start assembling computers and cell phones. Yeah, the new smartphone ape is due out Christmas 2020. I wouldn't lie about this stuff. Links down below. Gee, I imagine that in the further future, they probably do plan to have these monkeys at work for them. Maybe not in a sweatshop, but in some sort of a facility where the monkeys actually does a particular task. There's one other thing that's even more incredible about that, is once these monkeys have grown to full adulthood, one of them will be able to replace Murray Carey. She will never have to lip sync again. These monkeys will be implanted with the Don't F*** Up Your New Year's Eve Lip Sync Edition gene. Our next story takes us to Belarus, where a man has been killed while attempting to take a photo of a beaver. This is crazy. So the man's out fishing. He's like, not caught nothing, not caught nothing. Well, a beaver. He jumps out of the boat, wades over, and tries to get really close with the beaver. The beaver hated that side of his face, grabbed the cell phone, and said, hey, get away from me. This is my good side. Bit the guy in the leg. And basically, yeah, the guy bled to death right there. What you don't do is try and get a photo of a beaver. Yeah, really close up as the beaver bites into your thigh and you bleed out from your arteries, which is exactly what happened to this man. Unfortunately, you know, like Jay, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that wildlife is dangerous. And even though beavers look kind of cute, they have massive teeth that are designed to bite through wood. So uh, your leg won't be any challenge for it. What they don't tell you in the story is it wasn't the beaver that actually killed him. 
while he was taking a picture of the beaver, there was a chipmunk right behind the beaver that didn't want to get his picture taken, went over and said, hey, you erase that picture. The guy said no. Chipmunk bit him in the leg and that's what really killed him. It turned out the chipmunk had a criminal record and it didn't want its picture taken. It's true. We can't make this shit up. Uh, links down below. It is unusual for beavers to make uh, attacks on humans, but I imagine as every animal, when it feels cornered or in danger, it will attack. You know, you sometimes you'll see a mouse, you know, or a rat attack a cat, even though a cat is like 10 times its size. Now that the guy had passed away, the beaver had moved an entire family into the guy's house. I mean, heck, who wants to live in water in a house full of sticks anyway? For the last two years, Bucky the beaver has not been seen but we do know his last words were subscribe to OTL Animal News. Subscribe. Thank you. Links down below. Thank you so much for joining us on another OTL Animal News episode. If you like what you heard and you like what you saw, please subscribe and hit that bell. Hit that bell. Hit it. And what happens every Thursday at 6 p.m.? We upload another episode. And when you hit that bell, you will be notified automatically. And there are links for all the stories that we have talked about today down below. And there's a secret link. But there is one very important thing that I want you to take away from watching our video. And that is to always support your local animal rescues. Thanks for watching. See you next time.